E, isn't it right great being British? Don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, today is the 100th episode of The Chronicles of Beard, which is mad. And if you're new to the channel, um, The Chronicles is kind of like a laid back series that I publish on Thursdays uh, compared to the massive eating stunts that I do on uh, Sundays. Normally like restaurant challenges, menu takedowns, that kind of thing. But um, it being the 100th episode today, I thought I would do something special. And it's been a while since we did a cheat day. I've kind of gone off cheat days, but um, if it's what the people want, it's what the people shall get. But just to put a bit of a twist on it, today I'm going to be eating exclusively British foods or from British restaurants, that kind of thing. So just as a little test, McDonald's, yes or no? No. Correct, it's not British. Greg's? Yes. Correct. Let's make it a bit more tricky. Waffles? No. Correct. Yes. Steak and kidney pie? Gotta be. Because it's British. And we're going to start the day with, of course, I've done a lot of them lately, but a full English breakfast. What's good? So, uh, Mrs. Beard, she's not joining me for breakfast. She's uh, going to get some supplies. We're decorating the office. But the uh, breakfast here is all you can eat, which is great for me. All right, so first meal of the day is a full English breakfast. There's no black pudding, so technically it's not actually a full English, but um, I'm at Stonehouse Inns today. Let's kick things off. I'll put up a calorie count on screen and uh, just gonna see how many calories of British food we can get through today. A frightfully good morning to you, Beard Army. Welcome back to this, the 100th episode of the Chronicles of Beard. And today we're doing a casual but very British cheat day. The bacon could be a little crispier, but the sausages are great. Yeah, to say this was a breakfast buffet, the sausages tasted surprisingly premium. Very thick, juicy, and of course high in calories, which always helps. Feels a bit weird eating with cutlery for a change. Speaking of uh, high calories, I also loaded up on the fried bread you will see, uh, which I, I love fried bread. Who doesn't? I normally like to dip my fried bread in the egg, but it's, it's a little too hard. Too hard, you say? Normally the, uh, the opposite of that is true. Oh, I was doing so well. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be at my cleanest today because this is a cheat day after all, so there's a long way to go. Man, this is really making me wanna eat fried bread again. But, um... We're almost done here, just about to hook up with Mrs. Beard for the rest of the day. And uh, don't worry, there's not too much commentary here. There's plenty of talking because it's a cheat day, right? But I'll join you now and then to keep you entertained. Mmm, that was delicious. The beard actually looks alright. Oh, it did. Until I dipped it in the bean juice. Honestly, I dread to think how much I could eat here, but plenty of stuff to eat today, so let's hit the road. All right, so I could have made more of the breakfast buffet, but um, I've eaten a lot of breakfast lately, so I want to get some decent food variety in today. So I'm meeting Mrs. Beard for the next meal, but it's like a five mile hike or something ridiculous. And uh, for some reason, maps have sent me on this weird spooky detour through a graveyard. I also need to poop, so hopefully I make it. I'm so unfit. Need to start doing some cardio again. Catch at the next place. My face is so fat. Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> Why are you leaning in so much? Because this, this jump. You got some moisture on your lip. Boy, that was some walk. 
I've got changed, by the way. That's, that's not really an English way of saying it, is it? Goodness me, that was some walk. Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me, that was some walk. Um, I'm really out of shape. Me too. In terms of like cardiovascular fitness, anyway. Oh. But um, next order of the day is British afternoon cream tea. I think everybody's going to enjoy that. Which I haven't had for a while, and I, you know I love really rich cakes and scones and creams and stuff. So we're going to get inside and uh, put down some more calories. It looks still really moist on top. Like what's what's going on there? What hey? <laughs> Right, meal number two is a traditional British afternoon tea. Scones, sandwiches, some weird trifles and pastries and stuff. It looks delicious, so we're gonna get stuck right into it. Or I'm gonna get stuck right into it. I'm not sure how much this Mrs. Beer's gonna eat, but... Cup of tea? Yes, please. Let's get it. If we'd like them in Downton Abbey or something. Ooh, a nice beef sandwich. Ooh. What is that droning sound? I really didn't notice that at the time. I'm gonna to try to be as clean as possible. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Ah, uh, Mrs. Beard, she's a good egg. Sorting me out with the napkin there, making sure I didn't make too much mess because after all, this is high class English afternoon tea. Oh, it's stained. The, the game is up, the jig is up. So we're taking care of the sandwiches here, which were pretty good, but in all honesty, I'm only in this for the cakes. All right, now the final two are egg and cress. Flip that bit off. It was always my least favorite sandwich filling when I was a kid. Ugh, look at that. Anyone else hate egg mayonnaise? Try a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you didn't even question that. Not even I really like egg mayonnaise and cress. He says as he shovels it in his mouth. I'm really intrigued to see what these little tarts are. It's not anybody you follow on Instagram. <laughs> Before you say anything. Mini quiche coming up right now. Some kind of miniature quiche. And just to set the record straight, none of the ladies I follow on Instagram are tarts, despite what Mrs. Beard just uh, said there. Forget the vegetables. No, that's not the right plate. Well, what, which plates for what? Oh, that makes sense, actually. All right, we're moving on to the scones, or as they call them in Lancashire. Scones. Scones. Is well, that Lancashire? I don't know, but this is my, my thought behind why it's a scone and not a scone. How do you pronounce an ice cream cone? Ah, uh, yeah, you don't not say an ice cream con. con. Can I have an ice cream con, I'll tell you please? what is an ice cream con, Ben & Jerry's. Five quid a pint. So I don't like scones or scones. So can I go get a Yorkshire pudding? Because this is my favourite place for Yorkshire pudding. You are a Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, go on then. See you in a minute, guys. And girls. Come on. And girls. Mmm. Mmm. This is a delicious scone. Love a little bit of clotted cream. Some jam. Look at that. God damn! There are a few things I love as much as a high quality scone with some clotted cream and jam. I've never seen you looking so happy in your life. Look at these. These are technically Yorkshire as well, like English. Well, they are English, Yorkshire puddings, yeah. It's just that you don't really eat anything else, apart from that and garlic bread. Have you not finished yet? I thought you'd have been done by now. Do my calories count in this as well? These will be good calories then. Mm. Chin chin. Cheers, Mrs. Beard. I think this is the most civilised I've ever spent an afternoon. Why am I eating fruit? 
I'd offer you a bit of Yorkshire pudding, but nah. All right, I'm gonna take one of these trifles. Yeah. They definitely made an effort here. This place is called the Wheat Sheaf. Yeah, this is one of Lindsay's favorite places to eat. And I gotta say the afternoon tea here was a really good value for money. 25 quid, that's not bad. Ugh, I don't think I've ever eaten this much fruit on a cheat day. I know, I think you should be focused on the cream that's hanging off the side. Good advice. At least you ate all the clotted cream. Yeah, the clotted cream was delicious. What's that jam? It's jam, yeah. Mm. Wow. Looking at that, I think you'd absolutely destroy Kate Ovens. <laughs> We're having fish and chips later, so... Yeah, by later you mean like 20 minutes from now. <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that. It's like a little miniature pastry eclair thing. Yeah. You were saying? <laughs> no, it's just like a mini vanilla slice. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Lemon cheesecake. Yes, ma'am. I think the next one looks like either a ginger cake or a coffee. I believe this is carrot cake. Ooh, yeah, carrot cake. Last. Uh, I'm not eating the vegetables. That's probably like 20 calories right there, so we'll finish with the chocolate fudge cake. The only problem with afternoon tea is it's supposed to be like delicate and tea and all that kind of stuff, and it just, it's not for you. You need like 20 of these to make <laughs> it worthwhile. You're right, but I really enjoyed that. That was um, really delicious. I really think that we're doing this very British cheat day thing. A lot of justice right here. Mm. Anyway, finish the tea. It's coffee. Whatever. And what is it next? Fish and chips? Alright. You didn't eat the butter. Alright, so Mrs. Beard is overheating. She made a poor choice of clothing, so we're gonna go home, get changed, and then head out for fish and chips. I need to be comfy when I eat my fish and chips and there's too much flappiness going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of flappings. And there's too much um, moisture as I Yeah, the say. moisture is starting to spread the across your entire, <laughs> entire face. <laughs> Speaking of overheating, it is exceptionally warm for the middle of February here in England, so I think I'm going to take my jacket off as well. Hopefully she's not going to be too long, because I'm actually really in the mood for fish and chips today. Not one of my favourite dishes, usually, but... Today I'm feeling it. All right, Mrs. Beard, are you now wearing suitable attire? Yes, are you saying this is attire? <laughs> no. Just to clarify, this is the third outfit change I've had today, because uh, eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed <laughs> I had a green striped jumper on when I dropped him off at breakfast this morning. People be saying, oh, it's different days. I can just assure everybody, I sweat a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> you are just, a pretty I just got warm. You are a pretty sweaty lady. Anyway, today we're going down to uh, the Weatherby Whaler, which is a fairly famous northern fish and chip uh, eatery. And this one is not in Weatherby. No, it's not in Weatherby, it's in Wakefield. Shaky wakey. And okay. uh, we're going to go there and get some fish and chips. No. Nothing more British than fish and chips. Let's do it. <laughs> No, just not. this whole area seems really dark. No one really cares if you are in shot. Or not. This camera clearly doesn't care. Look, it's always focusing on your face. First things first, your fork, sir. Oi! Fork, dear. You... <laughs> oh. Right, that's the fish. They're your chips because <laughs> they were too big to put them in. Alright, I'll eat the chips first. Let's get it! <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna show the camera mine. Look. 
Beautiful! Oh, they're hot. Oh my god. Dandelion and burdock. Ooh. This is the. Uh, I think I only ever got dandelion and burdock when I went to a fish and chip shop as a kid. You said I put vinegar and salt on these? What on your chips? Oh god, they're really dry. So here we are, meal number three, and I couldn't do a British cheat day without good old fish and chips. I'm just put it there for a second. You I've Ow! Does it hurt? It's really sharp. What's wrong with you? Nothing worse than mushy peas. Ugh. Yeah. Alright. I mean. <laughs> I guess it's pretty big. Certainly not the biggest fish I've ever seen. It's a whale of a fish. How about that? Just watch Lindsay here. She goes in hard on this chip buddy. That's my girl. She really loves fish and chips. Almost as much as garlic bread. I remember one time when I was in New York for um, Battle of Big Eaters a few years ago. Um, all the competitors. On one of the off days we went to this place called Assault and Battery. Blimey. <laughs> Play on words. Which is the only fish and chip shop in um, New, York. New York, right? So a lot of the people coming in, the, the tourists and stuff, or the local people in um, in New York, they were looking at the menu and they'd be like, chip butty, fish butty, what the hell is that? Because it's all like genuine, you know, English names for the... Because I guess Americans would call this fish and fries or something like that. But obviously they, they, they don't call it that. Because they don't eat it. Eat the batter, the batter's the best bit. I am eating the batter. I'll batter you. <laughs> I'll it. belt you! This place has a great reputation. But this is not the best fish and chips I've ever had. What? By a long way, best fish and chips, certainly in this county, is Murgatroyd's in Yeadon. No. I've got loads of little kid. Oh, I am so full. Can't be that full. You've barely eaten anything. Two Yorkshire puddings. My stomach is not like your stomach. Well, to be honest, I am getting kind of sick of um, five foods. I don't really like cheat days anymore. <laughs> I prefer to just eat a lot in one sitting and that. that's it. Are you going to finish it for me? All the batter from this is stuck to the paper. That's a sign of an underdone fillet fish. Get out of them. <coughs> Sorry. That's, that's your responsibility. If you want to close your box, you do what you like with your own box. All right, that's as close to done as I'm gonna get. There's a little bit of skin left over, but that's the best I can do. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh. Au revoir. When it is like being at seaside, I just had a seagull scream at me. When ah! <laughs> I'm still filming, you know. That was um. Say it with me. Vidal Sassoon, do something with your hair. <laughs> um, that was a solid portion of fish and chips. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. What about you, Mrs. Beard? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm definitely tired of salty, fat, dense, heavy foods now. So I'm thinking maybe we'll get a little sweet stuff on the, on the way home. Maybe make another stop, get a little cake. Onward, Holmes. Bye-bye. Alright, we need to get something sweet. So we... Oh, there's a, there's a Costa. Is that British? I was going to go to the farm place for a cake, but... Is Costa British? 
I'm gonna take a chance. I think Costa is British. It's the British Starbucks, right? So it's a drive through. Let's see what we can get hold of. What are the sweet treats? Chocolate tiffin, millionaire shortbread, nutty granola, a muffin, <laughs> or a raspberry and almond bake. Uh, one of each. Let's get one of each. One of each, <laughs> please. <laughs> One of each of the sweet treats, please. The sweet treats. <laughs> so you say my each. Um, so yep. Yeah, so the each one of the sweets. <laughs> say the each one. Okay. So a chocolate tiffin. Yeah. A millionaire shortbread. Yeah. A nutty granola. Yeah. Uh, a muffin and a raspberry almond bake. And what coffee do you want? I'll give you a large hot chocolate. And a large hot chocolate, please. Yeah, no oh. worries. And, and yep. one second. A large frostino. Um, <laughs> um, a large frostino. Make your way around those flowers, please. Thank you. You absolutely butchered that order. <laughs> Sweet treats, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, we're in the kitchen right now and we're having a little mid-afternoon snack because the ordering process at Costa um, did not go quite as smoothly as we anticipated. But um, I'm going to get stuck into this and as we do so, Mrs. Beard is going to pass me a bunch of packages I've received this week. Uh, we can open them up. Hopefully it should be a lot of fun. But let's get stuck into these four little desserts. <laughs> I thought we'd get more than this, but whatever. Uh, the hot chocolate's pretty good. All right, pass me package number one, Mrs. Beard. Ow. Lumberjackbeards.co.uk, very cool logo there. Nice. <laughs> Got a nice little presentation case there. I think I must have about 15 beard combs now. But uh, thank you very much for this stuff. Nourishing Beard Wash. I think we got some beard oils and some beard balm in there, which will definitely come in handy, especially after a day like today. So thank you very much, Lumberjack Beards. Appreciate that very much. Not sure about that almond finger. Next package, Mrs. Beard. Comes in a little... Five Guys Wallet. Ooh, look, I'm, I'm actually a little bit excited about that. Everyone knows I love Five Guys. And it is two vouchers that say lunch is on us. Look at that. How very generous. To be fair, I give them enough shout outs on Twitter. They probably call me now. But um, yeah, I've got a cool relationship with Five Guys. Sadly, not English though, so I can't eat at Five Guys on a day like today. Right, I'll do the muffin next. Do you know when... Don't say it. Don't say it. Do you know the muffin man? The muffin man? Not sure. He lives on Drury Lane. The best part of this so far has been the hot chocolate, which I guess is what you'd expect from a coffee shop, but whatever. <sighs> right, let's eat the shortbread. The caramel shortbread slice. This is very nice. The shortbread can sometimes be a bit heavy, but this is very light and crisp. Next package, Mrs. Beard. So I've already opened this one with a sneak peek because it's not actually addressed to you. Oh my goodness. This says FAO Mrs. Beard. What is in this? It's really cool, actually. Okay. Oh, this guy talks to us a lot on um, Instagram, right? Or Twitter. All right, so this is from a guy called Charlie who uh, speaks to Mrs. Beard a lot on uh, Twitter. Sometimes speaks to me. Not Twitter, Instagram. And it looks like... He's written his own book, which is pretty cool. I love illustrated books, so we'll definitely give that one a read later. I think maybe my nephew will like this. 
It might not be a kid's story though for all I know. Could have adult themes. One of the characters is called Skinny Biddy the Vampire. <laughs> I love that. I get the feeling this is gonna be a good book. Thanks Charlie. Sent Mrs. Bid some uh, jelly beans and some Haribo, which of course she appreciates. Alright, hot chocolate's finished. This is, what's this, a salted caramel... Um, it's just a cappuccino, that's disappointing. Just a really creamy cappuccino. And this is the uh, chocolate tiffin. This is pretty nice, it's a little bit like um, Rocky Road, but a little bit more um, rich, it's kind of more dark chocolatey. It's good though. <coughs> That's supposed to taste like salted caramel, it really doesn't. That's disappointing. Um, final package, Mrs. Beard. You stop playing Candy Crush and focus. Ooh, tons of clothing here. Some NFL gear. Ooh. I don't know what team that is. I know the guy is called Odell Beckham Jr. So that's cool. These shirts are really expensive. So I'm assuming this is probably from NFL. I get the feeling they're trying to button me up because they sent me something at Christmas. I wonder if they want me to turn up and eat a bunch of food at one of their events, maybe. And finally, we've got some very plush looking... Uh, no idea what team that is. Somebody tell me in the comments. Cheaters. Um, Carolina Panthers? In my head I'm thinking Panthers are black. But maybe they're spotted, I don't know. But thank you, NFL, really appreciate that. Maybe they're just being nice. Oh, I just want some fruit juice or something. Coffee is not refreshing. Mm. I think it's time for a mid-afternoon nap, Mrs. Beard. <sighs> what do you say? Let's do it. This part's gonna be X-rated though. I'm joking, it's not, it's not gonna be X-rated. I'm just gonna fall asleep. Sprawled across the bed. Not my bed Sprawled across the spare bed. <laughs> What, no. what, do, what difference does it make where you where you get the garlic bread from? I feel like I'm cheating on this. You're probably not going to eat it anyway. Look at so. the state of this. Yeah, it's not the... I mean, I'm sure it's lovely garlic bread. No offence to the place where I bought it, but it's not... It's, it doesn't it's not look sizzlers. like... It doesn't look like lovely garlic bread to me. Alright, it's been a fun cheat day. Probably not the most epic one I've ever done, but by my calculations, we're at about 9,500 calories now. So... This is definitely going to take it over the 10,000 calorie mark. I think if people like this, maybe I'll do it again. It's cool just doing like the British foods. And we're ending the day with a palm oil. That's, uh, it's a favourite up in Middlesbrough. I don't live in Middlesbrough, but um, I managed to get my hands on this palm oil. And this is a special palm oil because it's topped with uh, disgusting kebab <laughs> meat. Right, and that, that's another British favourite after you've had a few beers. So uh, we're having a floor picnic right now. We're going to finish the day off. <laughs> I don't even want to eat this. I don't mind, bro. Steady on, Mrs. Beard. Do you know how many of my subscribers are seriously worried about you? It's one thing just eating garlic bread all the time, but when it has to be like three specific types of garlic bread. I'm sure that garlic bread's fine. Let me put this rice. The garlic on top got stuck to my teeth. <laughs> I need my luminous yellow garlic bread from my fave. Look, it's even got a bit of tomato residue on. <laughs> that is pretty, yeah, uh, pretty Thank sorry. Thank you. All right, you can just join me for the banter on this one, Mr. Beard. Right, let's crack oh. the crack the vimto.
lucky we're not counting your calories, Mrs. Beard. Parmo is like a breaded chicken cutlet. A cutlet? Yeah, that's what they call it, with cheese and bechamel sauce on top. This is just kind of pimped with uh, kebab meat as well. It's actually pretty tasty. I'm not a big fan of the Parmo normally, but... This is good. Your mother never tell you to eat with your mouth closed. Did your mother never tell you to eat <laughs> things other than bread? <laughs> Touche, Beard. Touche. Haha, <laughs> 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 nice try, Mrs. Beard. So the final meal here is a cheeky little floor picnic. I'm surprised we managed to get a glass bottle of iron brew. That must be like Excalibur <laughs> in Scotland. It's like the equivalent of a mythical object. All right, a date. Let's check. No, we're good. I actually got that for me, but i sure, keep drinking it. Open the loop for me as well, darling. So I've been told, if you don't know, is uh, basically fizzy black currant juice. Mm. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a British or European only drink. I think you can't get this in America. I don't think. Unlucky America. Come on, you're doing really well today. You're getting words. <laughs> I haven't eaten that much. In terms of calories, anyway. What was your favourite part today? Um the cream tea, I really enjoyed that. It's not so much the amount of food, it's just the salt that's killing me now. I'm doing this all day long. Mmm! That was yummy though. Ugh. Done? My calves are going to be the size of like elephant calves tomorrow. Whenever you eat tons of salt, your calves just swell up like crazy, it's mad. It's time for the totally tropical taste of Lilt Man. How is that English though? Well, it's a Jamaican themed drink, but Lilt is actually English. Pineapple and grapefruit man. I've never been a fan of Lilt. Yeah. I like a little bit of Lilt on a hot summer's day with some ice cubes in a glass. Yeah. Ooh, Lil and Vimto. Those things bring back some childhood summer memories, and uh, this Palmo was pretty good too. I feel like I'm just shriveling up. That's got to be what, 11,000 calories off. Just that? So, no, not just that, the total day. It'll be, it'll, it's definitely over 10,000. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I'm about to head to uh, Miami now, but. There are a couple of videos scheduled to go up while I'm out there. So if I don't respond as quickly to messages and stuff, as usual, I apologize. Hope some of you can come out and watch me. Mrs. Beard isn't coming, sadly. So, uh, yeah. First time going up against Joey Chestnut, Jeff Esper, like the best in the world. So I'll just get trampled, yeah. But should be a lot of fun. Um, Thanks for watching, catch you next time.